Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Stunner Share. So today we are going to see the Nifty analysis for intraday. Okay, so this is Gift Nifty futures. So as per that, we are seeing that the market uh, compared to the Saturday close, we are going to open bit higher. Okay, and that is what I have explained in yesterday's video also that the Nifty showing the possibility of taking some support also, and that is why the uh, thumbnail also looks like nifty at support zone so my expectation is the nifty is right now at the support zone and it is expected to go upside yeah and one more thing you have to note that see whatever analysis i'm sharing in the con video content is what i see in the chart i can be wrong at many places it's not that i'll be correct in all the places so you have to first of all understand what is correct what is wrong what is your analysis whether my analysis is helpful or not i'm i've never asked to follow my analysis blindly okay please do your due uh, um, um, learning apply your understanding and see what is being told in the chart for better understanding yeah so that will help you to go for it and also you need to understand what is the risk involved in the trade and accordingly you need to follow what can be done clear now coming back to nifty futures chart now so if you see that the white bar which was seen in the last chart it is not available now because that is your gift uh, nifty index which is working on singapore and this is on our uh, indian chart clear now let me go to nifty features clear and then i will go to 15 minutes time frame or 5 minutes whatever is suitable for you and i will go to daily and i'll First of all, let's see what happened on Saturday. Clear. On Saturday, what has happened is like Nifty. Uh, actually, uh, the bias was overall bullish because the CPR also closed above and the camera also closed above, so it shows bias as bullish. And the candle opened and closed also, accepting the bias of the CPR. But what happened after that? It was not able to close above the previous day. It started consolidating and started facing resistance at H3 of Camarilla and once after coming below CPR then it closed below the CPR okay so here what you need to understand is that Nifty though had a bullish bias on CPR and Camarilla it faced some resistance and why did it face some resistance I have explained with previous video also say for example why it is facing some resistance over here over here so if you go to fixed range volume uh, i think i have to consider it from here or here what wherever so here if you see there is high amount of buyers and sellers present over here so many people will now ask what is this fixed range volume how to use it and why are you using all these questions will come i would say rather than using this indicator just see where the consolidation has happened where the buyers or the candles were roaming for a longer time by that you will be able to understand so if you see the naked chart itself you can see that that this is a zone of consolidation which has happened here yeah. and in this zone of consolidation this is the high of the zone and this is the low of the zone and within this zone candles might take resistance and take support so that is how i said nifty might take some resistance and then come down and by yesterday's video also that is how i said nifty is at the support zone yeah right now i told nifty is at the support zone because this is the area of consolidation where buyers and sellers present there for a longer time and they were like fighting it to decide who is going to uh, go up or who is going to go down okay and that is how that has been plotted and for that trading view has provided a indicator which you can use it it is not only that you have to use it from here to here okay if i'm not wrong if you use the indicator from here to here which is the area where high consolidation is seen that is where it will pick it up because why it has picked this line because this candle also came so when this candle also came then it started picking up this line so more number of candles more number of buyers and sellers where they were fighting where they were consolidating for a longer time that will be called as the volume point of control 
and that is what has been showed in this two indicators there not only from here to here if you wanted to take any other thing say for example let me take it from here and here okay see this is the no because it will check again where the higher amount of buyers and sellers are there. so here from here there is no much consolidation here five days of consolidation here uh, another eight nine days of consolidation here another six days of consolidation and here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen or fifteen days of consolidation over six so that is how they are saying that this is the area of consolidation and that is how i was able to say okay you have to apply all this and then only you will be able to understand so now what is expected for tomorrow or today what is expected to happen today so i am opening tomorrow's uh, like uh, uh, cpr and camera la and that will bring so if you see the cpr is widen compared to the previous day cpr or compared to side saturday cpr the cpr is wide and cpr yeah it doesn't look like an lower value also it looks like an outside value cpr so basically an outside value cpr means it is expected to trade between this range okay if it is an outside value cpr it is expected to trade between this range whereas the camera law shows lower value relationship now overlapping lower, lower value relationship which is called as moderately bearish relationship now what is expected say for example as per the gift nifty index it is shown that nifty might open gap up so let's take that view if say for example nifty is opening gap up above the cpr and closing above the cpr then any pullback towards the cpr okay any pullback towards the cpr is going to be a buying opportunity and also you need to note that cpr is a cpr is forming a bearish golden pivot zone but though there is a bearish golden pivot zone if the candles are opening above the golden golden bearish sorry bearish golden pivot zone that resistance area will be converted to a support zone clear and that golden pivot zone will be acting as a support zone and any pullback towards cpi is going to be a buying opportunity clear and if in case right now we are seeing a gap up and there are there is nearly one hour more than one hour for that time for the candle to open or for the market to react by that time if the market opens gap down then any pullback towards cpi is going to be a selling opportunity so let's see how the market is open how the market is going to open but this is my view so for intraday view what is my expectation is that it the we today as the cpr is the white cpr the resistance zone will be 21800 and the support zone will be 21500 and also mainish golden pivot zone is seen but as per the gift nifty index it is showing a gap up scenario and if there is a gap up that means it is it, it can broke the previous resistance of the yesterday saturday's high and any pullback towards cpr can be a buying opportunity okay yeah. so let us wait and watch how the market is going to behave how the market is going to play apart from that i don't see much and one more resistance case coming at 20 moving as a 200 moving average if that is the case then market can open face some resistance come towards 20 moving average and cpr face some support take some support and then go upside also so let us see how the market is going to open but i have just given you some explanation of why it has taken support why it has taken resistance so how what is happening in the nifty what what are the indicators which you can concentrate and what is expected to happen in the case, in the case if you are using cpr and camera land on those clear so i hope i hope i have made this video bit uh, clear if you feel the content is good kindly give us a share, like share and subscribe and also please note i have just shared the analysis of what i see in the chart please do your own due diligence and our understanding or apply your theory and then take any entries if you want to do and also please ensure to make that risk reward is followed properly for better um, rewards clear thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos